What's going on people? It's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to automatically open the newest file in a user selected folder. So let's get into it. Alright, so on the left I got my VBA editor. On the right I got my test folder with um, multiple folders inside of it. So let's get started with our code. We'll go ahead and call our sub newest file in folder. And we'll go ahead and declare our variables. We've got folder picker as file dialog, my path as string, my file as string, newest file as string, and newest date as date so we'll, we'll go ahead and set our folder picker equal to application file dialog MSO file dialog folder picker And then with folder picker, we'll have a title. We can title it, please select folder. Jeez, sorry about that. And then allow multi-select. false so the user will only be allowed to select one folder um, button name we'll just go with confirm and then if dot show equals negative one then that means the user selected a file So then we'll have an ampersand and a backslash for our file path name. And then else will end the macro. End our if and end our with. So then my file, we can set that equal to directory for my path. And then we're going to set newest file equal to my path. Sorry, to my file. So my file is equal to directory of my path, and then the newest file is going to be equal to my file. So then we're going to do newest date and set that equal to file date time for my path, which we got up here the user selects the folder and then my file which will be the actual file and because we added a backslash here we're able to just combine the two like that so now we can have a do while loop so do while my file is not equal to nothing I'll go ahead and loop and if file date time for my path and my file is greater than the newest date at that point, then we'll set newest file equal to my file. And then we'll set newest date equal to file date time my path and my file and then we can end our if here and then my file will set equal to directory 
so that'll move through our folder so what this is doing is it's looping through the folder and it's determining it's opening up or not opening the file but it's determining the file date time for each file in the folder and it uses newest file to keep track of the current file and if the next file has a date that's newer than the previous file then the newest file will update so newest file continues to get updated as long as there's a file that's newer than the previous one and you we keep doing that till we go through the entire folder and all the files in the folder and then we'll end up with our newest file and then at that point we can open it so we'll have workbooks open file name my path and newest file so let's go ahead and test this out run it we've got our user selection here so our file dialog popped up it says please select folder like we have here confirm like we have here and then we can choose one of these folders so let's go with the sample data files something's wrong okay spell workbooks wrong sorry about that let's try this again okay sample data files and you see which file opened up here NYSE stocks so let's see if that's the newest file so date modified you see NYSE stocks is the newest file um, so let's go ahead and try another folder let's do some files and the cities file gets opened so let's see what happens if I go to some files cities is the newest one and if I were to go in and say um, I could, let's open up this file countries and let's say well it's not countries but let's try this one and let's just add something in here and save it so now if I were to run the macro again on the same folder instead of NYSE I should get the NASDAQ one and that's what I got because it's now it's the newest file as you can see the date modified just changed and let's say we want to open up a folder that has no files in it we get an error right we have to debug so what we can do is use an error handler so our own error let's go to and we'll call it no files so what's going to happen is it's going to look the code's going to look for no files so we'll just put it at the bottom here so no files colon and then what we're going to do is just have a message box for the user and say there are no items in this folder and let's make sure to end the macro here otherwise we'll see this message regardless of if there's files in the folder or not but now if I run it and click no files confirm there are no items in this folder so we're good to go and let's run it again on another folder so if I do sample data files again I get this NASDAQ stocks file and let's say I did not type in here what happens is the macro will just consider that this this code here valid and it'll just keep going so I'll choose sample data files and you see there are no items in this folder pops up 
So we gotta make sure to, to end the sub here so that you're not you don't hit the error handler. But yeah, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.